not to all of you America. Please tell you one time, scared the shit out of my land I ran, but we're gonna blow the shit up. Ahmed! Ahmed! Why did you give me the scissors like this? I want a butcher knife, but it's fine. We snip snip you bitches. This is not to you, President Obama. We give you praise in the name of Allah. For one simple reason. You signed away the freedom of all of your Americans. So now all we have to do is come out and blood and beaches up. One bomb. One missile. All day. By myself. Bitch. This is to those uppity Americans that think that we had something to do behind 9-11. We tell you this. Bitch, that was your president. <laughs> That was your president. Our leader, Osama bin Laden, he had nothing to do with that. Bitches, we tell you this one thing for sure. When we die in the name of Allah, Jihad, Allah, 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 we know for certain that we have our 72 virgins and the caramel flat prey waiting on us when we get to heaven, bitch. So we tell you one more thing for sure. There will be more attacks in the name of Jihad, Al-Qaeda. Our weapon supply is very short. We don't have any more guns as they've been confiscated back from the CIA, the same bitches that gave us the guns. The recession is affecting everybody right now. You know this shit? We can no longer pump gas over there in America for you. So now they give us these nice little scissors to carry out our attacks with instead of the box cutters that we had, which cost a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? But we had to save a few pennies, so, you know. It's fine. I, I'm not complaining at all, because I'll still fuck you bitches up with these scissors. I am trained in the fine art of scissor combat, bitch. We have 72 virgins waiting on us when we depart this land for Allah. Now I'm telling you. Do you want to risk your freedom as well as your lives to defend your dead country, America? I don't think so. We are all over here without prescription glasses, running around with glaucoma, running into buildings, suicide bombers. Shit! I lost two of my nephews last week because those stupid motherfuckers could not see where they were going with their suicide vests on. They ran in, blew the wrong damn building, and we had to start all over. I don't have that many nephews. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair. I'm losing too much family over this shit. I'm about to retire. Just letting you guys know. Snip, snip. I don't like your comedian, the, the, the Cat Williams. He made fun of our execution ritual one day on his little comedic show. <laughs> Not funny. Bitch. This is what I think about your Cat Williams thinking about how we execute our people. How would he like it if I took my elementary scissors and I chopped off his damn hair? <laughs> I can tell that that's what he loves and that what he take pride in. His punk ass hair. My grandmother doesn't have any hair. I'll chop off his hair and give it to my grandmother. I already had to chop off some of my pubes and mail them to my <laughs> and mail them to my father to put it as a replacement for his toupee because his toupee got burned up in a house fire by punk ass Americans. Now I tell you one more thing, America. In order for the war of jihad to be carried out effectively, we must have cooperation from America. Who knows where we're getting this cooperation from? We're getting it from your Muslim president, Barack Hussein Obama. That nigga's real name is Berry Sotoro, and he was not born in Hawaii. That bitch was born in Kenya. Right behind my uncle's convenience store, you know, they have pretty nice donut pastry, but that's beside the point, you bitch ass Americans. <clears throat> we will be back soon with more videos after our latest terrorist attack. Okay, so you want to blow up some uh, some train stations, huh? I never did like the Greyhound service, the bunch of bitches. They never give me any meals or anything, you know? I just have to travel for days and days on end with no meal. That's some shit. When I was taking my airplane pilot training classes in America, they didn't give me any meals. <laughs> 
At least they give me meals on the airplanes that we fly into buildings. Oops. I was not supposed to say that. You did not hear that shit. I did not. My cousin Aladdin is coming over next week. We're supposed to <laughs> celebrate his son's bar mitzvah. I hear you think all the Jewish people have bar mitzvahs. Well, fuck you. We have bar mitzvahs too. They stole that from us. Now the last thing I want to say to you Americans. The weather over here is hot. While you all enjoy your snow, our kids are out here eating dust and sand rocks. The goddamn lights are acting up because it's almost time for me to stop. I said we should have had more lighting in this cave instead of one damn lamp. <laughs> we don't have enough money in our budget for this shit anymore. Al-Qaeda is going under. We're going under. Going under. Like Rosie O'Donnell's acting career, we are going under. I'm tired of this shit because I... <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> All right, punk ass Americans, we'll be back. What significant date is coming up so we can do that math real quick? Um, what's today? Okay, Valentine's Day, you punk ass kids. We'll be back and we'll be blowing up some more shit in your land. Just to let you know, we, we don't want any oil. We don't want any of that shit because you're broke. You owe China money. Bitches, this is why, you know, in the name of Allah, we'll keep our land pure and free from the American disease. Keep those damn PlayStations too. My kids can't shoot their AK-47s effectively because they want to do it like the punk-ass guy on Call of Duty. <coughs> punk-ass Americans, we'll be back. In the name of Allah. All right, this is for all of you punk Americans. We come in the name of Allah to tell you one thing must be for certain. You stare the shit out of our land, Iran. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my god. <laughs>